Which one of you two dogs ate my light-up sneakers? It wasn't me, I swear! Dog 1-1, one, one, what's your emergency? Yes, I just took a big dump on my master's carpet. Should I eat it? Okay, sir. Slow down. Okay. First, roll in it, then eat it. Got it? Oh, okay. I'm glad I called. Don't even bother telling a knock-knock joke to a pet dog. W why not? Just try it. Knock knock. <laughs> Dude, don't put your mouth on the seat. That's disgusting. We got a drink from that. Just like being there. Which one of you guys ate my magnets? It wasn't me, I swear. Breaking dog news. Scientists have recently discovered the answer to the age-old question, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? The answer is you are. You're a good boy. So, did you have fun on our first date? So, should we just shake hands or can I sniff you goodnight? The judges love the haircut on this young poodle. Oh my gosh, I need her hair. OMG, her paws are so on point. My mom won't let me get my paws pooped until I'm 16. That is so unfair. I know, right? Girls, I don't like how these shows are influencing young dogs. Look at those dogs prancing around being judged on their looks. They're even shaving their butts now. It's indecent. Hairless butts for the whole world to see. Oh, Mom, it's just the style now. They have a talent competition. Ah. Oh, real talented. Well, they interview them on world issues, too. I personally believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and... Oh, sure. They're clearly judging on brains, not buttholes. May I take your order, sir? Is your homework fresh today? Yes, sir. Our specials today are history and geometry. I always find history a little bit dry. Doctor, I have a case of diarrhea. How big of a case? Here it is. You want to open it and see? Wait, isn't that you? I thought you said your name was Thor, the hammer. <laughs> no, I have a, um, a twin. Hey, Penny. Hey, Buford. Mind if I have a sniff? What, what the heck is this? Oh, I, um, updated my privacy settings. Sammy, stop burying Princess Potty Mouth in the sand. I only buried her knee deep. <laughs> Hey guys, what's that book you're eating? Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Is it any good? Well, we're just on the first chapter. The following preview is not suitable for viewers of any age. In a world full of butts, one dog will not rest until he sniffs them all. <gasps> but he must defeat the forces of evil to do it. Take the red pill, and I show you exactly where you can stick it. Get to the chopper! 
here's Sammy. <laughs> Shut it off to my little friend! Run for your life! I'll cover you! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! What's in the box? It's just dog treats, dude. No! From the creators of the original I Like Sniffing Butts and the hit sequel I Like Sniffing Number 2. If you only see one movie this year, you ought to get out more. Go ahead, sniff my butt. We're gonna need a bigger butt. I like sniffing number two. Two. I am so, so sorry for everything that has happened. <laughs> Is that the new iSniff 10? Yeah, it holds up to 25,000 smells. Whoa, amazing! See that thing right there? It's used to stir up the drink. So, let's see if you learned anything in obedience school. Okay. Now speak. Ruff. Now shake. Shake that thing, miss. Kinda, kinda shake. No, shake hands, not your booty. What kind of sick obedient school do you go to? <laughs> What'd you get, Trixie? <laughs> oh crap. It looks like Buford owns Boardwalk now. Somebody help! Ah, uh, and I thought getting your tongue stuck to a flagpole was bad. Hello, welcome to the joy of painting with your dog Sammy Sucker Punch. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint a happy little cat. The colors we'll use are yellow snow, Doo Doo Brown, Stab Wound Red, and I Bruise Purple. Now let's go ahead and paint that cat. Now make sure the cat is tied up nice and tight so she can't fight back. We dab some Doo Doo Brown and apply the paint to the face ever so gently. This effect will make our cat look crappy, which is what she is, an annoying crappy little cat coughing up fur balls everywhere. Why, it's just like we shoved her face in some poo. Isn't that nice? But we're not done yet. We're gonna dab some eye bruise purple and ever so gently remove the excess paint by tapping the brush on the canvas. Don't be shy, just slap it off. Oh look, we broke our medium brush. Let's get the big brush out. Why, that's as big as a baseball bat. Just dab in the red and just have fun with it. That's what art is for. A little too much red? That's okay. If you make a mistake, don't worry. You can always start on a new cat. Isn't art wonderful? I would do anything for you. You would? I would eat my own poo for you. I, I wouldn't want you to do that. Too late. I already did. I... I I don't see how you thought that would help me. I'll even do it again. Oh my gosh, this is going nowhere. My love for you is like diarrhea. What? I just can't hold it in. Oh, that's so sweet. 
Cats are better than dogs, don't believe me? Read this blog, got all statistics to feed my reasons Facts don't care about your feelings, look it up, look it up. Dogs are better than cats, don't believe me? Then look at these stats, all these reasons support what I believe She's spicy, she's always down, she's spicy, she's on